wireless transmission of energy through thin air is a dream that has captivated inventors and scientists for over a century. And now, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency is on the verge of turning that dream into a reality. Their ambitious plan involves harnessing the power of lasers to transmit electricity to remote U.S. military bases, eliminating the need for traditional fuel sources and supply lines that are vulnerable to enemy attacks. The inspiration for this groundbreaking project stems from America's experiences in the wars that followed 9-11. The need for uninterrupted energy supply in distant, dusty forward operating bases became increasingly evident. Currently, energy is transmitted through wires or generated from diesel fuel, both of which are susceptible to sabotage or disruption by enemy forces. The logistics of supplying these bases with fuel can be perilous, involving risky airdrops or treacherous journeys along dangerous roads. Leading the charge on this transformative initiative is Colonel Paul Promo Calhoun, a former pilot who once dropped fuel bladders to Special Operations Forces, now serving as the program manager for Project Power. Power stands for Persistent Optical Wireless Energy Relay, at DARPA, Calhoun is confident that the time is ripe for wireless energy transfer. In an email to Popular Mechanics, he explains that the changing military landscape and advancements in technology have set the stage for a full-scale demonstration within the next four years. The power project relies on two key technologies, high-powered lasers and relays. By utilizing high-energy lasers, DARP AIC aims to create an optical power beaming system capable of long-range, high-throughput transmission. The laser energy is redirected by relays, such as drones or satellites, and converted back into electricity at the end-user location using advanced photovoltaic technology. These relays, whether deployed in the Earth's atmosphere or in space, form the backbone of a resilient, adaptive, and multi-path wireless energy network. The advantages of this approach are clear. Unlike traditional supply methods, the power system minimizes vulnerabilities and reduces the risk to personnel and equipment. Transport aircraft and fuel trucks can be targeted by adversaries, but lasers are impervious to jamming attempts. In fact, attempts to interfere with the power beaming signal only serve to enhance its effectiveness. The narrow directional beams of laser energy make them highly resistant to hostile actions. DARPA envisions that the power system will be ready for practical use within the next four years. Demonstrations of point-to-point -point power beaming have already taken place, and the team is confident in their ability to showcase tabletop demos at any given time. Over the next 20 months, effective relays will be demonstrated paving the way for airborne low-power demonstrations by 2025. The ultimate goal is a full-scale, high-power demo by 2027. Once DARP approves the feasibility of the power project, the baton will be passed to other government agencies to implement and utilize this groundbreaking technology. Furthermore, the potential applications extend far beyond the military domain. Remote settlements, scientific research stations, and other hard-to-reach locations could benefit from this wireless energy transmission, which can also be sourced from renewable energy, making it both globally accessible and environmentally friendly. In the near future, a commando stationed in a forward operating base in the Middle East and an oil worker toiling away in the remote Alaskan wilderness may find themselves sharing a common thread, receiving their energy from lasers. The Power Project has the potential to revolutionize how we distribute and consume energy, offering a glimpse into a future where wireless energy transmission is no longer just a dream, but a tangible reality.